Hey guys, Steph here with your premiere update, here with Sherry and Charity from Moxie. So tell me a little bit about Moxie and what you guys do. So we started Moxie about three years ago. Uh, we all have had former healthcare recruiter training. Um, we worked in the industry as recruiters and team leads and did some compliance and all that fun stuff. And uh, we stepped back from our positions to start Moxie uh, just because we saw a real lack of proper training and help out there for recruiters in our industry. And how do both the agencies and clinician then benefit from the services you provide? I think uh, our, our main goal at Moxie is really to help recruiters and agencies create uh, better relationships with their travelers and with their client hospitals um, to create a better experience and, and to provide hospitals with better quality clinicians. Um, at the end game, I think our goal is the same as everyone's to um, increase uh, patient care um, and the quality of care for patients at the facilities. Uh, and so we really focus on that with the recruiters, which I think rolls over to the travelers and then into the hospitals. Yeah, definitely a domino effect. What is your favorite part about what you do? Uh, that is a tough question. I think for me personally, uh, I loved working on the agency side of things. I loved working as a recruiter and building relationships with my travelers. And so I love being able to teach that and work with uh, new recruiters or even veteran recruiters that might be struggling a little bit. and. Seeing that light bulb go off for them uh, is really fun for me. Yeah, very rewarding too. Mm -hmm. Awesome. How about you? So I would echo that and I would say that for sure it's just knowing that what you do makes a difference. You know, when we see not only is it creating a change in that moment, but just knowing that you get that follow up in another month, two months, three months, and they come back and they say, wow, what you said really resonated with me and I was able to make that switch and it's really paid off for me. And I'm a coach as well, so I'm able to really work on the individual level, and which for me is awesome because I really enjoyed doing that too when I was a recruiter. And so I'm able to build that relationship with them and, and follow through with them. And, and I get sort of that instant feedback on how well that's paying off as well, which is hugely rewarding for me. And Great. Charity creates some exceptional memes on our Facebook page. So <laughs> yes. I also love that part of the job. It's really fun, uh, really getting to poke fun at what we do, what we know recruiters do and yes. go through on a daily basis. So. For sure. Have fun with it. Yep. <laughs> you have to. Yep. <laughs> so what trends have influenced your training or best practices recommendations? Uh, we really try to keep our finger on the pulse of the market uh, and and pay attention to what's going on. Um, there are a lot of things that are very different, um, even in the past couple of years, than were diff what the what the <laughs> 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 very different than what we went through as recruiters um, with the heavy onset of VMSs and MSPs, um, and really the. Um, social aspect uh, with Facebook and Instagram and a lot of the social media. Uh, and so we pay attention to those things. We talk with recruiters, we talk with travelers, we talk with agencies, we talk with marketing teams um, to understand uh, some of the struggles that they're going through and what we can do and advice we can provide them with to help them be more successful in those areas. Speaking of social media then, um, how has social media in your opinion then influenced um, recruiting? Um, make sure you get the eye roll on camera. Uh, you know, I, I think it's good and bad. Uh, I think social is really meant to be just that, a social um, arena for travelers and recruiters um, and agencies to get to know one another. And I think it's used uh, for that purpose in a great way sometimes. And I think it's also used uh, in a horrible way, uh, we see a lot of you know bashing on both sides of the coin, and I think that makes it really difficult for recruiters. I think they want to get out there and they want to get to know their travelers and they want to be personal with them, um, but it's very intimidating. Uh, and so, I think that's probably the biggest change that we've seen in social lately. What about you? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I would. 
I would agree with that. I also think that social media can be a distraction because I think we would both agree that recruiting itself, the basics of recruiting haven't changed. Mm -hmm. Even though social media is in the picture now, it's another tool in our arsenal. We can use it uh, to a certain extent, but the basics of recruiting have stayed the same. It's still a phone type of position. We're still building relationships. We still have to get on the phone to build those relationships. Right. So it, it hasn't really changed as far as what makes a successful recruiter and how recruiters can become successful, but it's sort of viewed as by a lot of recruiters as sort of an essential component of their recruiting business when in reality, yeah, it, it's, it's, it, you have to be aware of it. You have to sort of, uh, be open to using it from an engagement standpoint, but the, the basic stuff is still the same. Right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for your time and for coming. Appreciate it. Do you have any best parts of Milwaukee so far or what you like for, about Milwaukee so far? Uh, the Ooh. hotel bed's been really nice that we've been staying in. <laughs> Very comfortable. Charity's been traveling around the world the last two and a half years, and I'm sure she's stayed in her fair share of not so comfortable. It's very true. Rooms. Some dodgy situations out there <laughs> for sure. So I a nice hotel imagine. room with room service options is like a luxury. For yeah. Me. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, been so great. It's beautiful here. It's beautiful. Good. It Good. is. Good. Weather's well, been great. Awesome. Good. Well, I'm glad you guys came. Thank you so much. All right, guys. We're out. See ya. <laughs>